If you're in the market for a heating and air system anytime soon, you might be presented with different options. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming to understand what all those different options are, what the ratings mean. And in this video, I'm going to show you three very different systems, sort of a good, better, best type scenario. And I think I'll be able to also show you some things that are gonna be in the future, things that we're going to see more of as we move forward. And so I've got three different systems One's a very basic single stage system, louder, less bells and whistles, if you will. The next system will maybe be a step up from that. It is an inverter system, but it's non-communicating. And then finally, we're going to end with showing you one of the top of the line systems out there today. We're gonna mostly focus on the outdoor equipment. Indoor units, I don't wanna say they're all the same, but there's less going on there as far as differences and the outdoor units we're going to show you are very different. Okay, so we're gonna start with our Goodman that's probably about 10 years old now. Still the same technology as a lot of the 14 and 15 seer equipment out there today, other than metering devices and coil sizes the technology is still pretty much the same. Most single stage systems, I would equate them to say like a light switch. So it's going to turn on and off. It's not a lot of modulation, not a lot of ramping up and down. It's either on or it's off. And because of that, you're gonna get spikes in energy whenever it kicks in. The amp draw will spike significantly. And then of course it will just run. There would be no in between. It would be either on or off. As far as the internal components, you'll see this is pretty basic. So we've got our wiring coming in. You've got a contactor down here that is basically just a switch. I mean, it's a very large, it's got a solenoid that pulls in and then when that closes, it will send voltage through to turn the system on. Pretty basic components. We've got a capacitor up here. Our compressor and motor are both single phase, unlike some of the other systems I'm going to show you. And so that capacitor needs to be in there to get that system going. If it's not in there or if it's failed, then the system would not be able to start. And then of course we've got our control board up here. So these control boards on these single stage systems they're basically a bunch of switches on the inside of them. They've got some timers. You've got your defrost that would need to be controlled. But other than all of that, it's pretty basic. It's got some limit switches inside the unit, a high pressure switch, a low pressure switch. And then of course we've got our defrost sensor and the board itself that will operate when that heat pump goes into defrost mode, which would then engage or disengage the reversing valve. So again, very basic. I would say all in all, we're looking at three internal components as far as inside this electrical compartment. Now the unit itself, if we were to go down inside, we also have the motor compressor, other components like the reversing valve and crankcase heater, but that's basically what you're paying for. This system is a total, I mean, if you count all of what I just said, you know, a total of maybe seven components total and then your wiring of course you got your coil and such but the components themselves pretty basic contactor board capacitor motor compressor reversing valve and then some switches and of course the crankcase heater that's going to be our basic that's going to be our good if we were trying to sell this system and we had a good better best this would definitely not be our best. This would be hopefully our good system here. Okay, so next we've got an actual inverter system. This is a non-communicating inverter system, meaning the thermostat is still similar to a single stage system in its operation. You can install many of the different thermostats that you find in hardware stores. And because of that, they're simpler, but there are also less capabilities with them. So this system is actually a Bosch is the brand. And this was one of the first systems Bosch launched in our country on the residential ducted unitary side of things. In fact, I believe it is the first one. It's a 1.0 is what they ended up calling it. I would say if we're looking at good, better, best, this might be our better system. It is an inverter. It is quieter. It is more efficient than the single stage. We are skipping over two stage systems in this video because they might be a little more efficient, but they are basically still the same technology as a single stage system. I'm just gonna show you the inside of this Bosch unit because I think you will see a very clear difference. If nothing else, visually, the board is quite different. This board is very different 
than the one we saw on the Goodman. Okay, so as you see, we've got a, a bunch of things going on that we did not have going on in the Goodman. One of those being we've got a seven segment display up here that can help with troubleshooting and other things such as putting the system into charging mode, which you have to do on these inverter systems if you're going to check pressures. You know, as you can see, just a very different setup here. We don't have a contactor per se. Now this board does have switches on the inside of it. It does a number of different things. We do see capacitors there. We see some dip switches there that we didn't see on the other system that have the ability to change different things. And it actually just kicked on. I don't know if you could hear that or not. It just turned on. So it's a little quieter than the other system. I wouldn't say it's as quiet as some of the other systems out there, but significantly quieter than a single stage system. In fact, you don't have that initial spike in energy these systems do rectify the voltage to go to the compressor. So that compressor ends up being a three phase. It's not a single phase compressor. As you can see, just a lot more going on in this system. Now up here, you know, we do have, as I said, a rotary compressor, a variable speed motor. And other than that, we do still have our reversing valve and a few other things going on in there. But inside of it, I would say there's less change from the Goodman over there to the Bosch as far as the internal components other than an upgraded compressor and motor it still has a crankcase heater it still has the reversing valve and so on you're really seeing a difference here in the electrical compartment of the system the the part that controls everything obviously very different look going on in here we do still see a small capacitor up there but nowhere near as large that's only a six microfarad the one thing i will say for folks that like being diyers homeowners like to get in there and do things themselves this is a game changer to the systems from a safety standpoint because a lot of these boards because of the capacitors will hold charge and you've got people that are getting shocked because of it. They don't know that, they don't bleed the voltage off, they don't make sure it's lower. It's different voltages, folks will say are safe. Some say less than 50 volts DC, some say 10. Making sure it's a low voltage could hurt you pretty bad if you were to get popped by that. So these systems are DC. A lot of these components are DC voltage. And because of that, these capacitors do hold charge unlike the capacitors that are in an single stage system so that's the Bosch so this final system I'm going to show you is one of the top of the line systems we see today it's the Daikin fit Daikin is the brand we sold at my company and the reason this system is not on a actually mounted at a home it's mounted on this rack is because I teach other contractors how to do our trade and so this is one of our trainers and I've already got the cover off here sorry for the mess I've got a bunch of stuff in our basement here but I will show you a couple things that set this system apart. Now I will say, I get this comment from time to time, folks will say, well, the fit doesn't have the ratings that this system has or that system has. As you can see, this system is a side discharge unit. It's a fully communicating inverter system. Imagine if they were to take the best technology out there, inverter communicating technology, and put it all into this more compact side discharge unit. And that's essentially what they did where maybe there are systems that might have a rating or two that are better. They can't do what this system can do from a standpoint of where you can put it and some of the other advancements that the system has. So if I were looking at a quote and, it, and we saw a good, better, best, this would be one of the best systems out there for the money. Please note that Daikin has sponsored some of our content on our YouTube channel and the FTC requires that I say so. We've got a rotary compressor. Daikin actually has the swing compressor, which is probably the best compressor on the market. They're the only company that has it. We've got only two wires needed because of the communication capabilities this system has. And then you can see the board up here. There may be less going on on this board here versus the Bosch, but there's actually a whole separate board that I'll show you in just a moment. This board is more for the communication side of things. You can see there is a seven segment display in there. And then there is the communication wires coming in there, that black and white wire coming from the indoor unit and thermostat. The system basically can send data back and forth like the internet. And that 
allows the system to do a number of things from a standpoint of communication if something is wrong, but also communication from an efficiency standpoint and so on. This is kind of what I wanted to show you. You know, as far as under the hood, there's a very big difference between this and that 13 sear system we saw out there. Okay, and so finally, guys, I got the top off here. You can actually take the whole front of this unit off and get to everything a lot easier. But anyway, I just wanted to show you if you can see back in there, there is the second board and kind of see what I'm talking about. You know, there's just a lot more going on if you know what I'm saying. And because of that, you know, this system just has capabilities. It can run a whole lot quieter. It can run a whole lot more efficient and so on because of all that. And so you can see a clear difference between these systems. When we're talking about a single stage system that's louder and less efficient, more like a, a light switch that's flipped on or off. And then you come up to these modulating systems where it's almost like a dimmer switch that has the capability of ramping up and down. But when you get into these communicating systems, not only is it a dimmer switch, but it also is almost like someone is standing there at the dimmer switch and constantly raising and lowering that switch so it can be as efficient as possible, among other things. Let me know your thoughts. Are you gathering quotes? Have you ever gone through this before, getting quotes from contractors, not quite understanding what's under the hood? And maybe you didn't know exactly what you were getting when you were buying something. I'd love to hear about that in the comment section. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I share with you the best air filter I've ever found. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.